In today's tech video, we are going to unbox and we're going to get this soundbar set up right here. This is the new Sony HTS200F. So we're going to unbox it, see what's inside, and show you the easy peasy way of getting this thing set up and see if this is a soundbar that's right for you. That's today's tech video. Hey guys, Juan here. Thanks for stopping by my channel and checking out this video. So if you're watching this, you're probably in the market to buy a soundbar. Maybe you're looking at this one right here. This is the Sony HTS 200 F. Uh, or maybe you're watching this because you did purchase this thing and you want to know how to get this thing hooked up to your TV. Now, I apologize if the sound isn't that great right now. Um, this is my first video recording in this space right here. Um, I've got a dog in the background, it's kind of panting. I got somebody mowing the lawn on the outside, but hopefully we can get through this and you guys can learn something about this sound bar. All right, so I picked up this sound bar as uh, something to complement the TV that I have in my bedroom because, you know, a lot of these newer TVs that they don't have very good sound in them. The speakers just aren't uh, built the way they used to be. They're usually behind a TV and they're just, they don't perform as well. Uh, so they, you have to get a sound bar to get that better audio whenever you are watching movies or any type of media. Uh, so I picked this one up here because I think it's going to be a good addition to uh, my secondary TV. Um, it's a small one and it is at a budget price. So if you are looking for a sound bar that is at a budget price, this would be an interesting one to take a good look at. Now, Sony is a trusted name in electronics. I love Sony. Um, I've had some Sony headphones. I've had Sony speakers in the past and they've always performed well for me. Now, I am a Samsung fan. I do love uh, Samsung products, but this Sony soundbar had a pretty good price on it and it's got that trusted Sony name behind it. So that's why I was okay with buying this thing and giving it a try. So let's go ahead and dive into the unboxing portion of this video, and then we'll take it up to my TV and get it set up. Okay, now we have it all out of the box and just my first impressions on this soundbar is it is a nice looking soundbar. The top of it has like almost like what looks like a leather look. Um, you know how the texture of leather is, um, but it is a plastic feel, but it looks leather. So that's kind of neat how they did that. It's got the Sony branding on there and then it's got all your controls on the top that are not a push button. They are like a, like a touch screen kind of feel. Uh, so it's got the power button, your input, your Bluetooth, and then to turn it up and down. So a lot of sound bars nowadays are putting them on the side. It's kind of nice to have this one back on top right here. It does have that metal grill here on the front side to give it that nice industrial look. But yeah, this is a nice looking sound bar. Now on the sides here, you do see that your subwoofers are on the side. Uh, which is great when it comes to these smaller sound bars because it's just not, you know, you don't have another component uh, that you have to hook up. Everything is hooked right here in this short sound bar. So uh, some of these sound bars are longer in distance. This one is short. So kudos to Sony for making a smaller one for maybe uh, somebody who ha does have a smaller size TV and doesn't want to take up a whole lot of space. But I do want to give you guys the measurements on this so that way you see to see if it fits in your setup here. Go ahead and measure the and it comes out to be about 22 and three quarters of an inch from end to end. Uh, the depth of it is three and mm, just under three quarters of how uh, deep it is. And then we'll see how tall it is to see if it's going to fit underneath your TV if you are mounting this thing. Uh, just like on a, on a stand or something, but it does sit up about two and a half inches in height. So that gives you a, a roundabout idea of the sizing of this thing. Um, now inside the box, it did come with your wall mounting template bracket here. I will not be using this because I am just going to put it like on a dresser uh, below the TV. 
but if you do want to mount it on your wall, it's got the wall mounting template there. Um, here is the Sony remote that it comes with. Um, plastic feel here. Not too many buttons. I mean, it's got a few, all your basics that you need to control the sound bar right here. It does come with an optical cable. I'm a fan myself of the optical cable. Uh, depending on who you talk to, it's always preference whether they want to hook it up with an HDMI cord or optical. I always go optical. Uh, now, one thing I will put down in the description below, um, I will link a good optical cable because a lot of times the optical cables that these companies give you, they're on the cheaper side. And if you want a really good, strong connection, one that you know, you're not going to have any kind of problems with, you want to buy a good cable. So I'll link one that I recommend in the description below. Also, it's got the power adapter cable here. I mean, all these devices always have a big old, big old brick here. And then it's got your startup guide here, which I'll just show you guys how to get this thing started and hooked up. Okay, so my first impressions is pretty nice sound bar so far. Uh, now on the back side of this thing, it does have an HDMI arc output. Um, that way you can hook it up into your TV if you want to go that route. It's got the TV optical in, uh, the optical cable here, and then it's got a USB hook up right here on the bottom side as well. On the back side here, it's got your two holes uh, where you would then hang this onto the wall if you were mounting it on the wall. Uh, the great thing about this soundbar is it does have that Dolby audio uh, output here. It's gonna be a good soundbar. It's not gonna be one of your cheaper ones on the bottom end of the line, but it's also not gonna be your higher end soundbar. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and give you a sound test. Well, actually we'll get it set up, then we'll give you a sound test to see what it sounds like. Okay, so now we have the sound bar all hooked up through the optical cable to the TV. Very easy setup process. Just plugging in one optical cable to the back of your TV. And, and you know, as my optical cable is just right here on the side, every TV is built differently. Um, we hooked in the power cable, so it's just a matter of hooking in those two cables um, and then turning it on. And as you can see, um, the height as far as this one goes, this is not a Sony TV, this is a Toshiba. Uh, Sony soundbar, but they made it so that the height pretty universal does not cover any of the screen at all It fits nice and neatly below so that way if you are not mounting this soundbar on the wall It'll fit right underneath your TV. All right once we get it all hooked up I'll turn on the power button on the remote here. You'll see that the TV light is on and Then then the other two lights come on so the TV light is on Bluetooth is on USB is on and it goes over the TV because that's what's hooked up right now is the optical cable so it automatically recognizes the TV is connected. Okay, when you are turning up and down the volume on this sound bar here, the only indicator that you get, because on the front here there's no other lights except that very top light, you'll see it blinking. Whenever I turn it up and then I turn it down. It's a little bit different than other sound bars. Sometimes you get the little, like a, like a LED light here, somewhere here saying that's a plus or a minus. Um, but yeah, so I mean, it's very minimalistic in that aspect, or it could be kind of annoying if you can't see it. All right, so here's a good look at the remote up close. Here's, you got your power button here, your input button here, and then some different um, styles of music. If you want to go to cinema, maybe if you're listening to music, standard, audio, sound. Uh, voice and then night so I mean six different options there to choose from and then you got your volume button here or volume uh, your bass if you want to turn that up a little bit your mute play mode audio enter and then if you want if you're like listening to a CD or something you can skip the tracks right here let's go ahead and turn on the TV here and give you guys a little sound test okay sound bar hooked up I got YouTube pulled up here uh, I'm gonna play some Andrew Apple Pie music here, um, mainly because he's one of my favorites that I use as far as instrumental music goes or whenever I'm making blogs. But we're gonna use his music here and then show you guys or give you a little sound test of this is just the sound bar, volume turned all the way down on the TV, sound bar, audio on.
Okay, so that was a sound test. I know it's kind of hard to actually do a real sound test because everybody's uh, listening devices are different, whether you're listening on a phone, a uh, computer that's got speakers or really good speakers. Um, but that'll give you a little glimpse of what it actually uh, sounds like or how it, well it performs. Now, as far as turning it up, when I did get this thing plugged in, I think I only turned it up like six notches. So it's a loud sound bar. Um, you could feel the bass coming out here or hear the bass coming out the sides there. Um, it performs so much more better than the actual speakers that come on your TV. So when you do upgrade to a sound bar, it's usually worth the money. Um, and especially when you're buying one that's on a budget level like this one right here. But yeah, that, hopefully that gives you a little bit of an idea of what this thing can do. Now right offhand, one of the things I do like about this particular sound bar versus maybe some of the other ones out there on the market is the size. Notice that the legs on the, this TV here come out here and you know sometimes they're different sometimes they're on the ends but for my particular setup it just so happened that this sound bar fits really nice neatly in between those legs there Sony did make a nice narrow sound bar that'll be compatible I think with a lot of TVs that are out there whether you're using an LG Samsung or a Toshiba like this whatever you're using I think that this will fit real nicely with your TV now as far as connectivity goes with your cell phone or maybe whatever music player that you're playing with going through the Bluetooth is just a matter of clicking on the Bluetooth button, connecting it to your device and then playing music that way because I know a lot of people like to play music through their sound bars, maybe whether they're cleaning house or, or whatever they're doing inside their home. Um, it's real easy to get that connectivity together. And then also on the top here, you do have that USB connection if you're wanting to connect uh, possibly like a, a gaming system or something that connects via the USB cable. It's just a matter of hooking that in and then clicking on the source button on top here to connect it to the USB portion. But I think a lot of you guys who are watching this are probably gonna end up using it for your TV and that's just a matter of hooking up to your optical cable or an HDMI. Okay, so that's the setup and the unboxing of this sound bar here. Hopefully this video is helpful to you in deciding if this is the sound bar for you. If it was, go ahead and throw a thumbs up on this video. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I make tech videos all the time and I'd love to have you back on the next one. Until then, get out there and be creative.